Hey everybody! So today I'm going to show you how to fix your Maybelline colored tattoos that have dried out and this method also works with MAC paint pots. I was talking to one of you in the comments section um, yesterday or the day before and somebody was asking me about the Maybelline colored tattoos, the limited edition ones, and was I going to get any of them or did I get any of them? And I said no because the formula is so dry that um, it actually dries out the skin on my eyes and becomes painful. So then after I had responded to that comment I was thinking about it and I thought you know what I gotta do a video about this because there may be other people that have that problem too and what I do is I sort of fix my color tattoos so that I can wear them and so if your Maybelline color tattoos have dried out or your MAC paint pots or whatever you have for these cream eyeshadows that are in a jar then you know that even if you put the cover on tight they get dried out so fast <clears throat> so all you're gonna need to do is you will need a bottle of MAC Fix Plus and either a sturdy toothpick or you can even use like a, a piece of silverware and then just wash it thoroughly afterwards or whatever you have that you can use to stir with but if you look at this Maybelline color tattoo and this is an audacious asphalt and I was thinking about using this today and I opened it up and I looked at it and I was like oh no this is this is not gonna work you can't really tell by looking at it but trust me when I say that this is not usable like this because it's like cement and rather than throw it away and buy a new one all I do is I take some MAC Fix Plus spray it in there and I'm gonna start with two squirts and see how that goes and then I'm just gonna take my toothpick and stir and just work it in there really good just keep stirring it because if you put too much initially then you could ruin it so what I like to do is I like to start with a small amount of Fix Plus because if I need to I can always add more later oh what is that piece of fuzz or something oh no it's part of the toothpick the toothpicks coming apart oh great <laughs> anything can happen on live video people <laughs> um, so anyways yeah if you put too much fix plus right away then you could ruin it so I like to start with a small amount and work it in and then see how the texture is I've got a big lamp right on this and it still doesn't seem bright enough in here to me for some reason I heard that we were gonna get some rain later so this is the best I can do on the lighting okay so I'm really stirring this up really well because once you do this then you won't have to touch it again for a long time because the Fix Plus seems to keep it at just the right consistency and I'm kind of on the fence about this right now as to whether or not I want to add more because I could make this a little bit creamier but I'm afraid that if I do it might be too much and then I may have issues with creasing or it's going to be so emollient that my eyeshadows aren't going to apply over it well so I'm just going to test it with my finger and I can kind of tell by the way it feels and swatches Okay, I think that's about how I want it because you can't always tell just by looking at it so the best thing to do is just take some 
swatch it on the back of your hand and then you'll know how you want it to feel. Now I have done this many many times with MAC paint pots, Maybelline color tattoos, because um, they dry out so fast. I mean they dry out way faster than what you would ever be able to use them up. Even if you use the same one every day from the time you bought it you would not be able to use it up before it dried out. Um, I know that um, there are other methods out there of saving something that's been dried out and I'm not quite completely comfortable with those methods and you know they're out there they're on YouTube if you're curious but this is what I like to do I find that it brings it to a consistency for me even better than when I purchased it. It's not very attractive to look at. As you can see, it looks really strange, but in the scheme of things, that's not really important. What is important is that the product is going to be the right consistency for you to use on your eyes. I like to use these more as a colored base rather than on their own, but if I did choose to use it on my own, I think that that's about the right consistency. So I would say two squirts of MAC Fix Plus, and if you think, oh geez, that's a lot of money to spend on something just to fix my cream eyeshadows, but really, you can use this for a lot of different things. Um, if you feel like your makeup is too powdery when you're all done, if you really overdid it on the powder, powder products on your face, you can spray your face with it, let it, let your face dry, and it really leaves like a beautiful finish. You can also do the same thing with um, your eye, eye makeup. The only problem that I have found with that is that if I open my eyes too soon, sometimes they sting a little bit, which, you know, I don't really like the idea of that. And also, you can take some MAC pigments and you can wet your brush and then dip your brush in a little bit of MAC pigment and it really intensifies it and just makes it really beautiful and very dramatic and intense. But so there's a lot, a lot of things that you can do with MAC Fix Plus and for me, I would rather have one bottle of this and save all my cream eyeshadows from getting thrown out. To me, it's worth it because two squirts, that's all you need, really, to bring this back to life and then some. I mean, this is a better consistency now than when I bought it. It's, like I said, it's really strange looking, but uh, I've never had any repercussions from doing this, and you don't have to do it that often. Like now that I fix this, it's going to stay like this for a long, long time and I won't have to fix it again. I have never had to do it twice, but I would imagine that if it dried out again, I could just add more. But chances are, you know, I'm not going to have it for that long because once I've had my makeup for a certain amount of time, I do throw it away because I don't want to take any chances with getting any kind of an eye infection or anything like that. So once I've had um, any type of cream product, whether, whether it be a cream eyeshadow or a foundation, a liquid or cream foundation, anything like that, uh, I think two years is about the max that I would want to keep it. So this will probably, <clears throat> excuse me, this will probably stay good for you know, the dur the rest of the duration, because I think I've already had this for maybe a year. So I'll use it for another year or so, and then I'll just throw it out. But, you know, why throw it out any sooner than you have to? So give it a try, and uh, let me know if you have your own method of saving eyeshadows that have dried up. I've heard that some people microwave them, but I don't know. I'm just not comfortable with that, because I I'm always afraid that you know, what if I left it in for too long and uh, and you have to be concerned about what kind of materials you put in the microwave and, and that sort of thing. So uh, I used to play around with stuff like that before, but not as comfortable doing it anymore. So um, 
that is it you guys and now this cream eyeshadow is ready to use and I'll see you next time bye bye